Today we are going to review how to create a system repair disk and how to use recovery tools on the disk to help restore your computer. This is the first of three videos in the series Backup and Restore using a system image, which covers from start to finish how to create a system image backup of your computer and how to restore information from a system image backup. If for some reason your computer does not want to boot up, the system repair disk provides several options to help recover your computer, including startup repair, system restore, system image recovery, Windows memory diagnostic, and command prompt. We'll discuss what each of these options do shortly. Before you can use a system repair disk, you need to create one. To begin, place a CD or DVD in your optical drive. Make sure the computer recognizes it and close any pop-up windows that may appear. In Windows 8, open the control panel from the desktop by right-clicking in the bottom left corner, then click Control Panel. Click Windows 7 File Recovery. If you're in the Metro view, open the control panel by typing Control, and control panels should appear on the left. Click Control Panel. Click Windows 7 File Recovery. From the Windows 7 File Recovery window, click Create a System Repair Disk on the left. In Windows 8.1, there is no longer an option to create a system repair disk. Instead, you can create a USB recovery drive, which copies the recovery partition from your hard drive onto a USB drive. This will be covered in a separate video. In Windows 7, click Start, hover over All Programs, scroll down and click on the Maintenance folder, then click Create a System Repair Disk. The Create a System Repair Disk window appears. If the correct drive does not appear by default, click the drop down menu and select the proper drive. Next, click Create Disk. The disk will now be created. The process may take several minutes. When the process completes, a new window will appear prompting you to label the disk as Repair Disk Windows 7 64 bit or Repair Disk Windows 7 32 bit, depending on the one your particular computer uses. Before closing the window, eject the CD or DVD from the optical drive and label it. I find a felt tip permanent marker works the best. Once you're finished, click Close and then click OK or the X to close the remaining window. We'll use the repair disk to restore a system image in the videos Restoring from a System Image Backup in Windows 7 and Restoring from a System Image Backup in Windows 8. Now, let's go over each of the recovery options provided by the system repair disk. Startup Repair does what it says. If your computer experiences issues starting up, Startup Repair will generally run on its own without the repair disk. But if the files on your computer are too badly damaged, you will need the repair disk to perform a startup repair. System Restore uses what are called restore points to restore your computer to a previous state. This is useful, for example, when you install a program that causes your computer to malfunction in some way. By restoring to a previous restore point, any programs installed after the time and date of the restore point are erased. Note that System Restore does not affect personal files such as documents, pictures, or email. So if you created a document today and restored to a restore point from last week, your document would be unaffected. System Image Recovery uses what is called a system image or a complete backup of Windows, your programs, and personal files and folders. For example, let's say you back up your computer and create a system image, then your hard drive crashes. You could replace the bad hard drive and use System Image Recovery to put Windows, all of your programs, and your personal files and folders back on your computer, losing only the data you've saved since the backup. Creation of a system image is covered in more detail in the videos Creating a System Image Backup in Windows 7 and Creating a System Image Backup in Windows 8. Windows Memory Diagnostic tests the RAM inside your computer. If you run this test and errors are found, one or more memory modules may need to be replaced. Command Prompt allows you to manually type in commands on a command line. Before the days of point and click with a mouse, this was how things were done. However, using the command prompt can be quite complex and is a topic for its own video. One last word of advice. Test out your system repair disk to make sure it works by placing it in the optical drive and booting from it. 
It's frustrating enough to have a hard drive crash, only to find out that your system repair disk doesn't work when you need it. In this video, we reviewed how to create a system repair disk and the recovery tools available on the disk to help restore your computer. The show notes for this video are available by clicking the link below the video. Please help to support HelpfulVideoTips.com by subscribing to this YouTube channel and visiting HelpfulVideoTips.com to follow along on social media. I'm Tom Sutton. Thank you for watching.